Hi friends, uh, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Saurabh Chabra. This would be the second part for the Greenfield deployment for Hub and Spoke. If you like the video, please uh, like, share and comment and, uh, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Okay, let's just get started. So in my previous video, I showed you to, uh, how to create a, a VNet, a subnet and I uh, showed you all my uh, naming standards and how to uh, have different uh, spokes connected to a vnet so uh, in, in this particular video what we are doing is uh, we we need to create uh, the pairing right the pairing between the hub and the spokes so we would be creating uh, only the connection between the hub and different spokes but we would not be creating any connection between the spokes right so remember if any uh, traffic which needs to uh, uh, if any uh, resources which resides in spoke one needs to talk to spokes two, it goes via hub. So uh, to just reduce the uh, timing of the video, what I've done is I've already created the uh, pairing, but I would be sharing uh, how to create it. Uh, I would be showing that. So uh, if you see here, this is the hub vnet, and I have created three pairings from hub to spoke one hub to spoke 2 hub to spoke 3 and i would be creating a new pairing from hub to spoke 4 uh, so uh, just click on add uh, give the name hub spoke 04 and then uh, you could see there there would be three options first would be to allow traffic to this particular uh, virtual network which is the hub one the second would be to forward traffic forward from remote uh, virtual network right so it is to allow the traffic coming from the the paired network which would be the spoke in this particular case and this is where we decide to uh, allow the uh, transit gateway or to you know re uh, use the remote uh, network gateway right so currently these two are grayed out because we don't have um, the uh, the transit uh, the the gateway subnet created and we don't we have not created any express route from an on-prem to uh, Azure networks, right? So currently it is in a default none state. And in here we will give you, give the uh, the back, the back uh, network pairing, right? So it will give spoke 04 to hub. So this is the name of the link which would be created automatically from the, at, at the uh, spoke number four uh, VNet. So it's it's the same. Uh, these are the three rules. We have to select the spoke vnet and here is the spoke vnet number four. We select this and then click on add. It will validate. Uh, you, you see how quick it is, but uh, it will just, you can see it's updating, right? So it will check and create the network, the, the uh, it will create the UDRs, the, the routes, route tables and all in the back end. And it'll it'll show you how it is connected. I'll go to the spoke and I'll show you how automatically uh, a pairing would be coming on it. So I'll just show you. Here is the one. If you go to the pairing, so currently there is no pairing showing here. And if we want to refresh, now you could see that there is pairing. It is connected, and you could see uh, gateway transit as disabled. So if you want to enable it then we will have to select these right so again if in my previous video i have already told you when we want to allow a hub to talk to the on-prem we will say use the network uh, allow remote gateway right so we will check this particular use the remote virtual network gateway this would be enabled on all the spokes and if we go to the hub and i'll show you the pairing go to the hub in this we will allow use this virtual network gateway so all the hub we will allow this and all the spoke will allow this just to have the connectivity from the on-prem to the spoke so this is this is what we did in terms of uh, creating a hub and uh, connecting into the spoke within the region right so now if we want to have a connectivity from different uh, hub right so we have a different hub right uh, i'm talking about the global vnet pairing where we would be connecting the hub which is residing in central india and i would be uh, connecting it to the hub 
which would be residing in West India. Right? So I'll just show you. Before that, I would be. Uh, you could see here is the hub which is residing in West India. So I'll just create the global vnet pairing and you would see that how uh, we're gonna do it it's hub ci connecting hub wi right uh, this is allow this is allow and again this is hub west india to hub central india so uh, everything would be the same we just have to select the virtual network currently i'm at Central India uh, hub unit, I would be connecting it to the West India hub unit, right? So I would be selecting this and then I would be clicking on add. So again, this would be the global VNet pairing. The one which we created earlier is the local VNet pairing where uh, everything resides in one region. This is the hub to hub connectivity, which is the global VNet pairing. So if there is an on-prem which is connecting to the West India and there's an on-prem which is connecting to Central India. If they don't have connectivity directly, it can the traffic can flow through Azure, right? As we have already discussed earlier. Mm, let it update, let it connect. I'll just go back to the hub uh, in Western India. Just see if it is coming up yes it is connected so you could see here so now i have to, i've given you an example and i've given you a practical where we have connected the we have done the pairing part now i'll show you uh, the nsg part as i showed you as i talked about it earlier okay let's just see so i've created few uh, network security groups already as you can see here so let me select Central India and show you how many NSGs that I've already created. And I'll just give you a brief of what we have done as of now, previously. So we created VNets in Central India. We created VNets in West India, right? We created subnets in Central India. We created subnets in West India. So all these are done. We have the pairing done from all the vnets between vnets and we have pairing done between the hub uh, from central india and the hub from west india now what we are going to do is we're going to uh, I've, I've already created few nsgs i'm going to i'm going to tell you how many nsgs i've already created and how are we uh, applying these nsgs so as in my previous video i've already told about the nsgs there are two different types one we apply it at the subnet level Second, we apply at the NIC level. So currently, I'm just showing you the NSGs which are applied at the sub subnet level, and I'm going to attach all those NSGs applied to the subnet, right? I'll add those to the subnet. So here, if you could see, this is the NSG for the hub management subnet, which is applied to the management. This is the NSG for AD, which is uh, I added to AD. This is for security and this is added to security. Similarly, there is the web NSG, there is the app NSG, DB NSGs for all the NSGs within the spoke, right? So these are the spoke which are connected here. So uh, spoke vnets, right? Spoke one, and these are the spoke two, spoke three, and spoke four. So this is how we created the um, the NSGs and have. Uh, Put it in here i'll just go back to the nsg part i'll show you how many nsgs we have created so ad management security app db web app db web app db web app web and then i would be creating one for the db for spoke just to give you an example how to create an nsg so what we are doing is we are just creating an nsg and adding it to a, a subnet right so let's just create the last one which we have for the spoke and that would be for db i'll just cross check yes so i would be selecting the rg on which we, uh, the nsg would be residing so this would be the name of the nsgs it's going to the central india region as previously showed i would be selecting the 
common tags which I always recommend to select this is because of the the reports basically where which we sent to the management for the cost optimization and it is always recommended because there are many uh, you know PowerShell command these days which which use these tags to implement uh, different uh, different scripts right so one two three four five and there's one more well, I'm, I'm missing something okay cost center environment owner source region resource okay so the source is uh, an MSG okay okay so now review and then we'll be creating it it will not take that much time and once it is created it would be going to the NSGs I'll show you these default rules which are already created as inbound and outbound rules so this is the rule which will allow all the connection between a vnet right so whenever this rule is applied on a subnet it allows any protocol any port any uh, the, the source which is the vnet and the destination is vnet itself so any communication within a subnet it is allowed by the default rule outbound and inbound so i'll just add associate this particular nsgs to my spoke database subnet and this is how it is applied so what we'll do is we'll whenever there is a database server which is added to it we'll add one rule for the DB protocol rights which is 1433 usually we have this uh, uh, we we know the IP address from where the traffic would be following we would be adding those IP address here we put this uh, usually we put the port range the source port range and asterisk but the destination port range we give that as custom we give the destination IP address or the IP CRD ranges we give the protocol and then giving the priority as I told you in my previous video giving the priority of uh, that particular rule giving the name and click on add so this will basically add that particular rule and assign to that particular uh, NSG which is subsequently assigned to the subnet so this is how we create the different NSGs so I have shown you all the NSGs that I've created let's just verify that they are associated correctly so it's uh, for hub we have ad management security app db this okay i'll just check if it is associated correctly to the subnets yes it is uh, yes it is connected if we go to the db spoke v2 yes it is connected to spoke v2 and then we have the address range as well yep so this is how we have added the uh, nsgs and we have created the vnet pairing so the, uh, this is it uh, I would be creating another last video where we would be creating the uh, virtual machines to just check out our connectivity part and that would be it okay thank you